Central Asia has been for a couple of centuries a source of major concern and the issue of major consideration for Russia. Central Asia is bordering directly Russian Siberia and the invasions of the Central Asian nomads for the long time threatened the Russian expansion to the east, to the Siberia and then to the Pacific Ocean. By the end of the 19th century, Russian Empire managed to secure its interest in the Central Asia by taking a formal, firm control over these territories. But a century after, in the end of the 20th century, Soviet Union collapsed and five independent nations emerged in the former Soviet Central Asian, country, Asian territories. These five independent nations value their sovereignty very much and try to develop the multidimensional, multilateral relationships with Russia, China, Iran, United States and the other international partners. These countries try to engage as much investment as possible in order to boost their economies. Some of them are doing better, some of them are doing not so good. For example, Kazakhstan is a pros relatively prosperous economy based on the huge amounts of the natural energy resources. But countries like Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan are still the big suppliers of the labor force, primarily to the Russian market. Millions of people from Central Asia now work in Russia. And the Central Asia is a very important source of the labor force for Russia, but Russia is a very important source of the incomes for the Central Asian countries. Now, Central Asian states face several serious challenges. First of all, the growing relationships between China and Russia put them in front of the choice how to deal with these two superpowers which are bordering the smaller Central Asian countries. The other challenge is the international violent extremism and religious terrorism. After the defeat of, of the radical uh, movements in the Middle East, some of the fighters relocate to Afghanistan, and from the Afghan territory they can pose a direct threat to the security and stability of the Central Asian countries, especially taking into consideration the fact that there are many poor people, there is a high unemployment in certain Central Asian countries, like, for example, Tajikistan. The other challenge is the policy of the United States. The United States of America do not consider Central Asian countries' security as its primarily security concern. And the United States sees Central Asian countries as a primarily a ground field, a playground for the relationships with China and Russia. So the U.S. can very easily provoke and develop a political instability in the Central Asia. So Central Asian countries, along with China and Russia, should think together how to deal with these challenges in order to keep this region as peaceful as it has been for the whole period after the collapse of the Soviet Union.